So, we know all about the xylem and the phloem, but now we need to know exactly how water and minerals move around the plant. This happens through transpiration. Transpiration is the evaporation of water from the parts of the plant that allow the exchange of air. These are the leaves and stem. By water evaporating out of these parts, mostly the leaves, a suction pressure is created, like in a straw, which draws up water through the plant. This is called the transpiration pull. But what exactly happens in transpiration? Let's start at the roots. Roots have root hairs, giving them a large surface area for water absorption. Water passes in from the soil by osmosis, passing down the concentration gradient and into the root hair cell's cytoplasm. Water moves through the xylem vessels from the root to the stem to the leaf. Transpiration at the leaf causes a transpiration pull. And because water molecules are cohesive, water is pulled up through the plant in the transpiration stream. Aside from the leaf cells needing water for photosynthesis, water also keeps the cells turgid so that they can give support to the plant. Inside the leaves, water is drawn out of xylem cells to replace the water lost to transpiration. Because of the cohesive nature of water that pulls water through the plant. When water leaves the xylem and moves into the leaf, it further pulls more water molecules behind it. But this isn't just about water. The transpiration stream also transports mineral ions that are dissolved in the water from the roots to the leaves. The transpiration rate isn't constant. There are many different factors that affect it. The environmental factors are similar to those that make you sweat. Temperature, humidity, wind, and light intensity. Other factors include whether the leaf has a waxy cuticle or how many stomata does it have, the nature of the guard cells, how large is the leaf's surface area, and is the leaf folded or flat. If the transpiration rate increases, then the rate of water absorption by the roots needs to increase too. When water is scarce or if the roots are damaged, the plant needs to reduce its transpiration rate. It does this by closing some of their stomata. There are guard cells on either side of the stomata which regulate this. During daylight hours, chloroplasts produce sugar. This lowers the water potential of the guard cells and they take in water by osmosis. This makes the guard cells turgid because the guard cells have a different cell wall thickness. When turgid, they bend more on the outside into sausage shapes. This opens the stomata and water can then be lost. At night, the sugar produced by chloroplasts get used up, so the water potential of the guard cells increases. More water, less sugar. The guard cells lose water by osmosis and become flaccid, closing the stomata and thus reducing water loss. So now you know about water movement through the plant how it flows up the xylem and gets pulled along the transpiration stream due to the transpiration pull. Remember, the plant has methods to control water loss by closing the stomata, which is based upon how flaccid or turgid the guard cells are.